Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie, is returning for the Suicide Squad, because she is one of the characters in the DCEU who has changed the most. Harley Quinn, who first appeared in Warner Brothers' ongoing DC Cinematic Universe in 2016 Suicide Squad, is one of the most well-known DC villains to have come to life in Warner Brothers' ongoing DC Cinematic Universe. While many people know her as the Joker's iconic sidekick, the DCEU has made it clear that Harley is much more. The first Task Force X film marked the beginning of a new chapter in Harley's life, as she gained independence and started to exist outside of the Joker's shadow. Suicide Squad demonstrated Harley's ability to alter while remaining true to her role as a villain. We're bad guys, it's what we do. While David Ayer's Suicide Squad was not well received, Robbie's depiction of the beloved villain was extremely well received. That response prompted Warner Brothers to put Harley in the spotlight, with several spin-off ideas for Robbie being considered. Birds of Prey, which brought the iconic comic team to the DCEU, while still continuing Harley's next adventure, was one concept that did come to fruition. Robbie will soon be reprising her role as Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad, but fans who have followed her since 2016 will notice that she is a very different Harley Quinn. When Harley first appeared on the scene, she was similar to the version of the character introduced in Batman cartoons. Energetic and exciting, but a character whose broader personal arc was still tied to the Joker and whose motives almost completely revolved around him. Regardless of how Suicide Squad ended, her arc was a foreshadowing of her emancipation, which would be the central theme of Birds of Prey after the Joker dumped her. And of course, with this newfound independence comes a significant evolution in the character, as the Harley Quinn of the DCEU is now one motivated by her own interests, which sometimes include doing acts that could be considered heroic, even if they're only motivated by her own desire to avoid doing some things as bad as killing a child. Birds of Prey emphasized Harley's maturation, which started in her previous film, as she had to forge her own path without the clown prince of crime. Despite her initial betrayal of Cassandra Cain, Harley finally does the right thing and defends her, symbolizing that she has changed and now has a much stronger moral code than she did before, even if it doesn't prevent her from pulling a villainous fast one at the end of the movie. The Harley in the Suicide Squad is a powerful, more distinctly personified and more driven iteration of a character who has grown significantly over the course of her previous two films. The Harley that Robbie's incarnation has developed into is one of the DCEU's most complicated and exciting characters. As a ruthless villain with a touch of heroism in her, it will be interesting to see how different Harley Quinn is when she returns in the Suicide Squad, thanks to the strong stories she went through in Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey.